Hello YouTube, it's Keith Kevin Ken. How you doing? How you doing? I hope you're doing well. It's time for another knife sale, and I almost cut myself with all these knives because I tried to get that K2, that Spyderco K2, into the frame. The, so here's what's happening on this sale this time around. You're going to see a lot of Spydecos that I haven't offered up yet. Or, you know, I haven't offered up before. You'll also see some Striders I have offered up before. You're going to see all of my Chris Reeve knives. Now, here's the deal. The Striders and all of the Chris Reeve knives, I heard from a, a number of you guys, a number of viewers, who said, hey, prices are fair. I see, you know, it's cheaper than anything online. But I did deeper cuts. Um, I think the minimum cut, minimal cut from last time that the Chris Reeves were offered uh, is about $25. So those will come at the end of this sale. Um, deep discounts. Now remember, uh, I said that by today I was going to ship them all out to a third person. And I started packing them up. And decided to go one more try with a deeper discount. So that if you've been looking to get Chris Reeve knives or or Striders or some great Spydacles. <laughs> I always kind of choke up with the Spydacles. All of these knives are hard for me to give up. But it's time to trim. It's summer. So let's get started, okay? You guys ready? Alrighty. The first knife is the Spydaco... Nalaka. This is a really unique knife. Puko, I'm sure I'm not saying it right, uh, design. A Scandinavian grind. Very thin tip. In fact, this comes inside of the box with a warning from Spydeco saying this is a thin knife. It's not an EDC knife, but man, it's so beautiful. It really is. Full flat grind. This is for $180, and this is a special knife, $180. Spydeco <laughs> released one of their first flash batch. It was the first, I think, first or second flash batch. They've only done two so far. A flash batch is different than... Um, what what you're used to as a limited edition um the difference is the difference between this and a sprint run i've got to hurry up <laughs> they only have done this knife with a sprint run it's a different variation of an existing knife this is a little nalaka okay first time probably only time with a flash batch, they're all numbered. This is number 97 of 1,200. 97 of 1,200. White G10, which is so hard. There's a few. I've never used these knives, by the way. The knives, the edges, our factory edges have not been used. They will come in the box with, regular, with the papers. Except for Striders did not come with boxes. The Striders did not come with boxes, but everything else comes with boxes and papers. This is a beautiful collector's piece, but also, while it is just like the bigger one, the, air, the tip is not as flimsy. You can use this as an everyday if you want to. This is for $145. This has RWL 35 steel. And the bigger one has S30V steel. Oh, by the way, man, I didn't give the rules of the sale. I'm sorry. This has been a wild kind of a day. So here's the deal with the rule. It is USA only. It is a USA only sale. Okay? And that's because I keep telling you guys it's just more difficult for me. So it's a USA only sale. What will happen is in the description... The rules are there. After the rules, each knife is there with their prices. If you're interested in a knife, you will send an email to Keith Kevin Ken, just like this channel, at gmail.com. 
you'll put the knife and the number with the knife is great. You'll put the number, the knife um, in the subject matter and then in the body you say, it's mine. It's mine. I'll, re I'll reply with, it's yours. You have 30 minutes to send your payment to my PayPal. Look at the PayPal in the message. Only send it to that PayPal. Once I receive that, I ask for your address, and then I'm mailing these. I'm recording this on Saturday. I'm mailing them on Monday, or if you see it during the week, I will mail it the next business day. Priority mail, USPS with insurance, okay? USA only, Keith Kevin Ken at gmail.com, knife in the subject, it's mine in the body. This is a sprint run PPT. This is so wonderful. I've already sold two PPTs, but this is the sprint run. It's carbon fiber. It's just wonderful with the textured handle. S90V steel with this sprint run. Carbon fiber, S90V steel. This is for $205. The Spyderco Zulu, oh, what a wonderful blade. This is a good classic blade. S30V steel, three inch blade by Anzo, wonderful custom maker, $105 on the Spyderco Zulu. It is hard to find a Spyderco Zulu. And remember, a sprint run is a limited edition knife. This is the Delica Brown Jig Bone with uh, Damascus Blade. It is brown. It, it has this wonderful brown uh, stainless steel bolster. Look at the foul work on the back. And the Jig Bone is just wonderful. It's so well done. Of course, with Damascus as well. I had a blue one. That went quickly. Here's the brown one. Uh, just really nice. 205 dollars for this real classic hard to find hard to find knives since we're talking about brown and jig bone and a spyderco classic let's talk about the endura same thing jig bone with the endura of course the delica 2.3 inch blade the endura is the bigger of the two with a 3.7 inch blade but this with the damascus the stainless steel anodized bolster, the jig bone, and look at that file work. Perfect condition. Of course, it comes with everything in the case. Of course, never used. Here's the blue version of the Endura. Blue jig bone, blue anodized stainless on the bolster, the file work, and the Damascus blade. Oh, by the way, I'm sorry. The brown and the blue for $225. The Delica for $205. Don't forget, Keith Kevin Ken at gmail.com. Knife in the subject matter. It's mine in the body. Look for the PayPal number. I'll send you an email. I'll say it's yours. You'll have 30 minutes to pay. The reason is a lot of people ask for... Uh, the same knife and I always you know it's first come first serve this is the titanium delica with Damascus blade titanium delica with the Damascus blade and this is for one hundred and eighty dollars I really do like this stretch to me the stretch isn't talked about enough we have a couple of them for sale today. This, though, is the Sprint Run stretch. This stretch has the blue Nascision handle, which is just beautiful, and the Damascus. Remember, all of these blades are on the Knife of the Day playlist where it's the whole show is just about each and every knife. 3.5 inches on the stretch, nice and thin. This is a beautiful knife, $180 for the stretch with the Nascision and the Damascus blade. You know, Spyderco doesn't do a whole bunch of Damascus 
blades. Let's talk about the burnt orange HAP40 steel sprint runs. Remember those? <laughs> yeah, they're great. Well, I'm, I'm trimming them, getting ready for some new blade steels that and sprint runs that Spartaco's gonna have. This is the Dragonfly in HAP40 sprint run with the burnt orange and we're gonna sell the dragonfly boy that's funny I can't even the dragonfly is going for eighty dollars I'm sorry dragonfly is going for sixty five dollars sixty five dollars for the dragonfly and then the next one is the mirror cat now this was a sprint run this was just recently offered as a sprint run the meerkat is wonderful i have the uh this is sprint run burnt orange hap 40 steel the great thing about the meerkat is it has what spiderco calls the phantom lock and the phantom lock because you see you don't see it right you see the stainless steel liners you see that 1.9 inch blade but what's the lock? Well, right here where you see the logo, you push the FRN scales forward. <laughs> that releases the lock, and then it's in there tight. That is a wonderful knife. This is the Sprint Run Hap 40 steel with burnt orange. That's $85. The Delica. I'm sorry you guys my notes are going crazy um, this is the Delica 4 burnt orange hap 40 steel and this is for 84 uh, 85 dollars as well this one was just released not too long ago yeah it's the Delica but this time with that Warren Cliff blade still hap 40 still part of the burnt orange collection sprint run collection but with the warren cliff blade that's for 85 dollars as well i told you there were a couple of stretches well they did the burn orange treatment with the stretch hap 40 steel with the stretch and that's for 100 dollars all of these none of these have been used all of them are factory edge all of them will come with a box with all of the original papers in it in great condition this is the hap 40 endura 4 with burnt orange frn scales and that's for 85 dollars here's a knife that's really interesting i still have so many spidecos to trim and as i go through especially on these sales first when i went through on the knife of the day and then with these cells, I just discover all these knives. I don't know if we'll ever trim enough of them. But this is a real nice knife. All of you are probably familiar with the Spyderco Police, right? Well, here's another knife that was created for policemen around the world. This right here, I've lost my place, of course. This right here is the Ulez, the Spyderco Ulez. I love the belly on this knife. 4.1 inch. The total length is 9.6 uh, inches. VG10 steel, only 4.8 ounces because it's so thin. Look how thin it is. Just a wonderful tactical knife and an EDC knife with that strong back lock. That's the Spyderco Ulyz for $150. Uh, some of the knives that I haven't offered before. Oh, where is that? Oh, here we go. Here's a big knife. Ah. This is the Spyderco K2. The Spyderco K2 full flat ground blade. Just a big mother. 4.5 inches of CPM 10V steel. 10V steel on this beast. Full tie body with a tie lock. 
I mean a frame lock, sorry, titanium frame lock. It's just a real big, nice knife. And this Spyderco K2 with the tie lock, 4.5 um, inch blade, $205. I hope I can put all this on here. No, this is the Spyderco Nirvana. This was one of the most expensive knives I ever bought from Spyderco. It took a while for this thing to break in, but boy, has it broken in. It's a beautiful knife. Never used it. It's so beautiful. Of course, the Nirvana, Peter Rosenti. Uh, collaboration with Spyderco. They took one single slab of titanium and made this entire thing um, with the frame lock. Just a beautiful knife. Again, I paid whew, close to $500, $395 for you. Just a really nice, smooth Nirvana. $395. This was always a special knife for me. I got this early on in my collecting. This is a Spyderco Des Horn. I don't know if you guys ever saw one or picked it up or handled it. If you did, you're probably drooling right now. Des Horn was a African or is an African custom knife maker. And this is a beauty. Warncliffe blade. Um... It has S30V steel. It only weighs 1.9 ounces. The blade is 3.1 inches. And it's so light because of this wonderful smooth G10. Spyderco really handled this so well. As you can see, it's a liner lock, smooth. It has the wire clip. This is a tip down carry, only right hand. But man, low profile. The hole's there, but they made room for it. Smooth coming out, smooth dropping. It's a Spyderco Des Horn, and this is for $110. Again, original. Uh, edge and everything else. I don't know if you guys watch my Instagram Keith Kevin at Keith Kevin Ken on Instagram or when I talk about this I love this knife I love everything about it I love the reason Spyderco put it together I love how it looks it's the Spyderco memory Spyderco put it together in memory of Frank Centafonte really one of their first custom knife maker collaborations VG10 steel but that is the only thing normal about this knife. Full flat ground, three inch blade, that blue titanium, look at the pivot, the blue titanium is wonderful. I have one of the original Frank Centafonte um, knives. If you go check it, uh, check out one of the videos, I put it up against the original and you can see all of the lines and the patterns and everything. That wonderful backspacer. Of course, this uses more modern uh, materials. Of course, titanium, this anodized blue. They have an inset of um, glass fibers. Fibers smaller than the human hair woven into that pattern. And then it has this coating on it. It is a beautiful knife. <gasps> and the reason you don't see anything on the clip side is that's like the original. A lot of the earlier Spyderco knives didn't have that because they didn't want it wearing down your pocket. That's the Spyderco memory, $185. Yeah, this is the one-eyed jack. <laughs> yes, it's a new great knife. And yes, you're gonna get a huge discount on it. Never used, just a beautiful small knife. Uh, full flat grind, S30V steel, um, white G10 with, the reason they have a heart and a spade on it is, it's called a one-eyed jack, and the one-eyed jack's in the deck. 
are the heart and the spade. White G smooth G10, just a beautiful knife, wire clip, and look at that foul work on the back spacer. Just a real nice knife, $220 for the one-eyed Jack from Spydeco. And then, I'll tell you, I have a set of knives that I think are just wonderful. Um, they're the Chaparrales, and a lot of them, it's a series that Spartaco has. They all have the exact same profile. A lot of them are titanium. A lot of them are expensive, but Spartaco also loves it. It's, it's, it's a wonderful gentleman's folder that can do a lot of good work. 2.8 inches on the blade, CTS XHP steel, and I wanted to offer this because this is the lightweight with FRN scales, and this is a very affordable knife, gray FRN, and then I've even discounted it from its affordable knife. Now remember, from its affordable price, CTS XHP tool steel, just a wonderful steel, $75. If you've seen the chaparrales and you haven't been able to handle them, uh, Spydeco is trying to get them in the hands of more people. Finally, an affordable one. I have not offered any of my chaparrales because I love them so much. Look how thin this thing is. It's so lightweight, just a real nice knife, and uh, I'm offering it for $75. All right. The last Spydeco this time around, I don't know. <laughs> this is the one I always hate to offer, but no one has taken it up. Uh, I took some money off of this one to offer it to you. This is the Yojimbo 2. Yojimbo 2 with 20 CV steel. Carbon fiber handle. That wonderful Warncliffe blade. And of course, it has the compression lock. This is a beautiful knife. I took some more money off of it. Uh, $205 for this Yojimbo 2 with carbon fiber and 20 CV steel. Just a wonderful knife. Now let's get into some of these mid-techs and... <laughs> You know, I got a comment from a viewer, and at first I went, you know, I'm not, you know, this is a trimming. It's not me just, you know, giving away the knives. But I did take a look, and before I send them off to a third party, I wanted you guys to get a last chance at a discount. There are fees when you put them at a third party usually they go up in price to cover the fees so I'm gonna try these again before sending them off all of these knives will be sent off at the end of this week for sure okay but I wanted you guys I'm serious about this to have a last shot this right here is and by the way some people email me and, and they take a shot at doing another deal and and you know would you take this and usually I say no some of these prices on these knives and especially on the Chris Reeve knives are lower than the deals that I declined earlier but now we're at the sale and uh, I want to give you guys a last shot at it okay this is the Strider SMF with that whoops sorry SMF with that wonderful G10 and the titanium frame lock. If you're looking for a strider and a big strider, a nice strider for $450, and that's a big cutoff. <laughs> S30V steel, 3.9 inch blade, factory edge. Um, the striders never came, <laughs> never came with a box or anything but you will get a wonderful strider for 450. This is my baby and once I went over the edge, I don't know if you guys ever had to give up something. Once you make up your mind, 
it hurts you so much and uh, there were no takers I took some dollars off of this too this is a very hard to find Strider Mini SJ75 green G10 it feels so great of course the titanium with the frame lock this is a baby Huey for five hundred dollars it was 520 last time which was heavily discounted this is 500 remember with all of these I pay the shipping and the insurance um, don't forget it's a USA only you need to go to Keith Kevin Ken at gmail.com put the number and the knife uh, in the subject matter and then in the body it's mine I'll respond these are the last chances I really am going to pack these up. I know I've been saying that, but I really am if they don't go. Uh, this is the Hinderer Half Track, full tie textured. You can see how much I paid for it because I bought it from Blade HQ. <laughs> you can see it. These are expensive. Last time I offered it for $540, $495. Still just as brand banking new as it was before hinderer does give you a box and everything <laughs> that will come with the box in the box has not been used none of these knives have i think it's the first time i have one medford and this is the panzer i just fell in love with the weird design <laughs> it's a hefty knife i bought this from blade hq too hasn't been used at all d2 steel black pvd coating on the blade 2.5 inches uh, for the blade you know these are all overbuilt this is coyote brown g10 and of course tie with that big glass breaker that big hole for a lanyard this is so well made um, and with that tanto blade Yeah, instead of $550, i am selling it for $495. I want you to find a new, of course, he does great packing. You'll get all of the packing and everything that this comes with. But I'd like you to find a Medford for under $500. These are really nice. The Panzer is a real nice knife. Okay, here we go with the Chris Reeve knives. They have all been heavily discounted this is the last chance you guys I am really trimming heavy I am not out of the collecting game I'm out of the hoarding game <laughs> okay here's the Umnum Zone someone asked me for a price on the Umnum Zone I said no uh, the only thing so let me talk about these Chris Reeve knives because people ask me these have never been used they come with a box you will not get the blue um, uh, um, towel in them okay um, because I've used those I've used some of the leather sheaths uh, the smaller knives will all come with leather sheaths and some of the bigger ones will as well um, but other than that Everything else is the same, the birth card, everything. These have not been used. This is an Umnum Zun. The only difference is it does not have a lanyard, and <laughs> it's $395. Last time it was $420. This is the large Sabenza 21 uh, play, uh, a combo edge. Last time I said 400 this is $375. Again, it comes with everything in the box. It has not been used. It's hard to find the combo blades, too. I'm going to have to start putting these knives on top of each other. This is the small plain Jane with the combo edge. Sabenza 21 for $375. It was $400. <laughs> oh man here's my tanto blade of course all of these have s35 vn steel they're all chris reeve straight from chris reeve of course 
it has a special lanyard on the uh, on these knives the Tanto blade three hundred and twenty five dollars was three fifty this is the last time folks for real <laughs> okay <laughs> this is the uh, small and single uh, so Benza 21 was 350 this now 325 and man it's just beautiful never used never carried this was my first my very first in Kosi the small in Kosi we didn't even know the large was coming plain Jane was three hundred and fifty five dollars now three hundred and thirty dollars and then it gets shipped away one of my favorites you're gonna see the two of my favorite really not plain Jane but if you're talking about the titanium it's plain Jane but I love the plain Jane with a Damascus blade and this is with ladder Damascus it was 625 this is 600 Here's the small Sabenza 21 with ladder Damascus. Was 555. It's 530. Uh, you can look them up. <laughs> if you looked them up last week, you saw that they were a big discount. You couldn't find them online or anywhere else for the price. Now I've put them down pretty much $25 or, or more off of the price from last week. This is actually just a big thank you to you guys. By the way, I know a lot of you, this is, everyone can't spend that much money on a knife, I know. Trust me, I have a sale coming for, uh, with some, a bunch of value folders and other things, I understand. And even if you don't buy, I hope you guys are enjoying these videos. It's rare to see a bunch of knives and hear prices attached to them on the internet. So, here is a um, Makarta with a tanto blade the micarta inlay it does not have a lanyard but it'll have everything else in the box except the blue cloth and except the sheath 425 dollars last week it was 450 and that was all of these were discounted last week as well this is the micarta inlay with the combo blade um, let's see. Last week 425, this week 400. I know I'm going fast because you guys have seen these, but I want you to know the uh, new prices. This is the small combo blade. Last week 385, this week 360. I love this natural Macarta inlay this is small and cozy you guys know i love my small and cozies last week 450 dollars this week 425 with that natural g10 one of the newest one of the newer um chris reeve knives in my collection the large sabenza 21 riddled it was 450 it's now 425. Um, does not have a lanyard, but everything else it has, and it's smooth as silk. Here's the small riddled. Uh, it does have a lanyard. It was 400 last year. No, I mean last year, last week. It's 375 on this final week uh, to get your Chris Reeve. <laughs> collection started or to increase it yeah it's the large Sabenza 25 ladder Damascus on the scale and ladder Damascus blade was 625 it's 600 same thing with the large Sabenza 21 with lat uh nope Raindrop Damascus on blade and Raindrop Damascus on the handle was 625 now 600 oh. Yeah, I'm running out of space. <laughs> what does that say? Here are the small ones. 
Here's a small one with ladder Damascus blade, ladder Damascus on the um, yeah on the show side um, was 500. It's 475. Same price, 475 for the basket weave. By the way, you will never see anywhere where a Chris Reeve knife with basket weave and ladder Damascus is sold for the same price anywhere, <laughs> okay? But those are two of the more expensive Damascus. Um, as I said, those were 475 last year, or last year, last, it felt like a year, longest week ever, and it was a short work week. Man, it felt like a year. But anyway, last week, uh, where are we? Oh my goodness. Someone, <laughs> this is just a beautiful Bacotti wood inlay, large Sabenza 21. Was 450, which was a huge discount. <laughs> huge discount. Now 425. Remember, never used, and you get everything that was in the box, except for sheath and blue all of the small knives will have a sheath inside as well yeah this is this is just my showpiece always has been box elder burl inlay with ladder damascus um this is a very expensive knife 750 last week 725 this week so it's been heavily discounted the first time and it's heavily discounted now small sabenza 21 with smolted Beach spalted beech wood inlay was 400. It's 375. Look at it. It's beautiful with everything. Uh, seriously, folks, this is the last week. Um, and that's why I'm heavily discounting most of these knives. Gabin ebony inlay on the small Sabenza. 21 with ladder Damascus just beautiful was 585 560 this week and now my Manundis <sighs> let me take a deep breath okay with the Manundis <laughs> um, wow is this where we go yeah my box elder burl Manundi uh, was 430 Last week it's 405 this week. And even if people uh, pick up and see one of the available ones on an earlier video, I'll give them the updated uh, less expensive price. This is a Bacardi inlay, a Manundi. Oh, it is very nice. With basket weave, Damascus was 510, it's 585. This week, Snakewood inlay with basket weave Damascus on this Manundi was 510, 485 this week. Coco Bolo inlay with raindrop Damascus was 510, 485 this week. Gabin Ebony Inlay with Raindrop Damascus Manundi was 510, 485. Guys, I know it's like crying wolf, but this time this is the last. I'm shipping them out next weekend or next week. This is KnifeArt.com exclusive. It's number 71. It's a Sabenza 25 carbon fiber. Just a, a real nice knife. I love all of these carbon fiber knives. 480 last week, 555 this week. 555 this week. <laughs> Go to knifeart.com and see if you can find that. <sighs> um, I, 
I'd rather have these in you guys' hands. That's what I, this is all about. Um, I'm like a, <laughs> only a guy and a woman too, but only a guy can get sentimental over something like knives. Uh, carbon fiber small, Sabenza 21. Was 425 carbon fiber, now 400. What is this here? Ah, oh, there's the Tanto blade. One of the newer ones that I got was 500, now 475. One of the more recent to my Chris Reeve collection. Yeah, that's carbon fiber, folks. And that's Raindrop Damascus. Was 520. It's 595 this week. And then the last knife for this sale, and really the last knife that I bought for my Chris Reeve collection, is this one. It's the carbon fiber small Sabenza 21 within single. Knifeart.com exclusive. Was 425. It's 400 and that's it it's a u.s only sale it's just easier on me and i need things easier on me these days <laughs> it's trimming and by the way we're close to august that's the last month of trimming i have a lot of spiticles uh to trim every time i put a bunch on and there's like 60 on the table and I have to take them off to make room for some of these other knives. There's a lot of mid techs on the table with heavily discounted prices. This is the last time for those. I'm shipping them out. Uh, so before they go up in price and a third party, it's only this channel that gets these sales. Remember, Keith Kevin Ken at gmail.com knife in the subject it's mine in the body i will respond to you once you make the payment and look at please look at the paypal i'll say i have a new paypal to tell you to look at it um send it to paypal i get right back to you you have 30 minutes to make a payment and then i ask for your address these will be mailed out on monday if you Email me after Monday and the knife's still available. It'll be mailed out the next business day. Priority mail with insurance. And that's on me. You guys have a perfect day. Keep those pockets full. Goodbye.